Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a four box, third, this is a typo right here, third of a case break of uh, 2019 Panini Select Football Random Team Break number two. Also with an early bird special here as well. Also, uh, all XRC cards are randomized at the end. And I guess we'll start, we'll, we'll actually know who these, uh, who these players are going to be. All right, so if you had one of the first 20 spots... You have a shot at an early bird spot right there. So the early bird catches the worm after 12 times. Name on top gets the extra spot. After 12 times, congrats to Austin. Austin Rashad Mendenhall is the early bird that catches the worm. There you go, man. Thanks for getting in early. Hmm. J.K. Dobbins going to the Ravens. Watching the second round of the draft, of course. All right, now let's get everyone here. Oh, and Joe Andreessen, you'll have the... Official last spot mojo star. All 32 NFL teams are in. Let's roll that and randomize it. Six and a five. Actually, mm, let me think about that, Sean. That's a good point. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. After 11 times, we've got Matthew down to Ryan after 11. Let me do this first really quick. Five, six and a five, 11 times for the teams. And 11 and final time. After 11 times, we go Rams down to Chargers. How, how deep do you think those XRC cards go, Sean? Do you have any idea, or does anyone have any idea? Does it go running back, what, three, four? They don't go past four, do they? All right. Matt with the Rams, Craig with the Bears, Paul with the Cardinals, Zach with the Saints, Garrett with the Chiefs, Ryan with the Lions, Josh with the Packers, Anthony D with the Vikings, Joe with the Texans, Braden with the Patriots, Trend with the Dolphins, Jesse with the Jets, Austin with the Cowboys, Chris with the Buccaneers, uh, Ryan with the Eagles, Nicholas with the Colts, Dino with the Panthers, Chris with the Bills, Joe with the Ravens, CJ with the Raiders, got my Raiders, Barry with the Seahawks, CJ with the Giants, Aaron with the Jaguars, Chris with the Redskins, Austin, your early bird spot, Cleveland Browns, Steven Olsen with the Broncos, Zach with the Niners, Greg with the Bengals, Austin with the Steelers, Dino with the Falcons, AJ with the Titans, and Ryan with the Los Angeles football Chargers. Sort by column B. Yeah, uh, XRC cards will go to the team they are drafted by. How did Nick do it? Did Nick? How did Nick do it for Pick Your Team One, or were there no XRC cards in in Random Team One? Anyhow, I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trades, but XRC cards will go to Eric thinks they go to five. They'll go to the team that they were drafted by tonight. I think most of them should it should be all all filled by now. All right, pausing the video. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. Okay, the definitive answer on the XRC cards. I know we're kind of going back and forth on it. I know that a lot of these players have been been drafted already, but just because we had already kind of set it like this and people bought into it, having read that item description, knowing it like that. We're going to randomize the XRC cards at the very end of the break. Now, I apologize for not writing this part in here, but um, those XRC cards will be randomized as one lot to one person at the end of the break, no matter who it is, right? It could be Tua and Joe Burrow, QB1 and QB2, but it'll still be randomized as a lot to one person at the end of the break. That's how we did them all, all the picker teams. If you watch our old picker team videos from when this first dropped, that's how we did it. 
Now, after this weekend, once the draft is all over, then we can um, then we can obviously make the adjustment to the to the uh, item description and make sure that those XRC cards go to the team they got drafted by. And kind of use those non-pro uniform rules on that, the team they are currently on. All right, so thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. There you go. Apologies for kind of going back and forth on that, but we're going to do it the way the uh, item description had it. All right, so let's pop this open. All right, good luck, everybody. Sorry for the confusion, but there usually isn't that many XRC cards, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I want to try to make that clear. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting into the action. Round two of the draft. Rolling along. Jets are on the clock. My Raiders do not have any second round picks. So I have to wait until the third round. I think they got a two or three picks in the third round. It will be interesting to see what, what my Raiders do. Maybe go defense. Maybe go every little bit of everything. They, they need all the help they can get. All right. Now, another great thing about Select, they have the, those three different tiers, right? Three different tiers. So all cards ship. So they'll be like field level, premier level, concourse level. There's a tricolor right there to 199 for the Vikings. 10, 10 out of 10, nice. Sterling Shepard, New York football giants. That'll be for CJ. Nice 10 out of 10. Sean Taylor, nice. There you go. Derek Thomas, silver. Brian Burns to 75. Barry Sanders, it's field level. Terry McLaurin. Nice one there. Give myself a little room here. Sean Watson, Alan Robinson. I love the tie dyes in select. Tevin Coleman, 18 out of 25. July to Vi, it's Concourse. Benny Snell Jr. to 99. And an out of 10, George Kittle. Six out of 10, George Kittle. Jersey and autograph. Nice. That'll be for Zach and the San Francisco 49ers. Six out of 10. Nice. And we got Zach Allen, rookie autograph for the Cardinals. Paul Hutchins got randomized. The Redbirds. Seventeen out of one ninety-nine. And there is an XRC card. It'll be the fifth wide receiver. And that'll be grouped together as one lot and randomized to one person at the end of the break if there's any more. As a rookie, Kyler Murray. Out of 49, Devontae Adams. Usually in a case, I feel like there's like three or four in a case. Tom Brady. Nice. And Mike Williams, 14 out of 99. Spark Relic. Ryan with the Chargers. Fourteen out of ninety-nine. And that Tom Brady, I think, is field level. Nice. 
Yeah, field level. So that's the shorter printed of the three different tiers. And it's that silver right there, too. There you go. Patriots. Braden with the Pats. And the next box. Third of a case, folks. Just four boxes. So relatively quick break. Jets pick is in. Oh, and Sean saying that the fifth wide receiver taken was uh, was Justin Jefferson. Nice. What was that? What was everyone's? Uh, what draft pick surprised everybody? In your opinion, your personal opinion. I guess the the consensus maybe seems to be. You know, the consensus seems to be the uh, Packers. I think they traded up for Jordan Love, right? QB. Yeah, that's what Kevin's saying too. Kevin M saying Jordan Love. Did they trade up for that? Uh, oh no, saying Jalen Hurts to the Eagles in the second round. Kind of surprised him. To Meeple Hardman. Dwayne Haskins tie dye to 25. That's for Chris and the Redskins. Redskins did go did indeed go with uh, Chase Young. There's a little smoke, mostly mirror, maybe a little smoke and mirror. Deontay Johnson wants to, about maybe the Redskins getting somebody else, but they they went with what everyone expected. Devin White jersey and autograph for the Buccaneers. Chris Yates. One hundred two out of one ninety nine. Jimmy Garoppolo, Gardner Minshew, silver, and there's my boy Josh Jacobs. My Raiders don't have any picks until the third round, so I got to wait a little bit. I guess people thinking that maybe Henry Ruggs was a bit of a maybe not a reach, but going ahead of C.D. Lamb and Jerry Judy kind of, kind of surprised people. CJ with the uh, with my Raiders, so there's that. The corner as well, the Ohio State corner that they got, not Okuda, the other guy. I think maybe some people saying reach as well. Pat Tillman, nice. Drew Locke, Drew Locke has some weapons now. Jerry Judy, which is going to be interesting, and a Lamar Jackson zebra. Joe Andreessen, last spot Mojo Ravens. I don't mind the Ruggs pick, though. I think people were kind of like, lols, Derek Carr doesn't throw deep. Why get a speedster like that? But, you can, you know, you, some quick slants. You can hit him on a quick slant, and he's gone. You know, maybe if they kind of use him maybe as a Tyree Kill kind of thing, kind of player. There's Gotkowski to 49. Patriots, that'll be for Braden. And Raiders have underneath guys. Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro can easily do that. It, Arnett was the corner that the Raiders took. Yeah, people are, I mean, predictably, Mike Mayock is saying, GM is saying, hey, love that guy. Love him at that spot. You know, it's Julio Jones. Oh, we'll see. Philip Rivers, 75. Rock Yasin. Saquon. A.J. Brown. It'll be interesting to see how Ruggs and... Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Ruggs and, and Jerry Judy kind of develop 
in division, I think that's going to be a talking point. They, Raiders and Broncos are going to see each other twice a year. So it's going to be a talking point for as long as those guys are on either team. Or on, as long as they're on those teams. Josh Uge going to the Patriots, outside linebacker, Tennessee on the clock. Sean saying, oh, Arnett is, Sean Corbett saying Arnett is older for a rookie and slower, so where does he have to go from here? Yeah, I looked at, I mean, albeit not deep research, but I did look at some things. I think he had a weird, didn't have a good junior year, but, you know, did well his senior year, and pe people think that he can be that he can be coached up. So, not just like a plug and play kind of player. Isn't he like twenty five or something like that? Twenty four in September. Raiders did look like they did okay with their picks last year, so. Cleveland Farrell turned out to be pretty solid. So, I don't know. We'll see. Raiders need a lot of work, so just, just add players. Just keep <laughs> adding players is what they need to do. Punisher Prime, what's up? There's Emmett Smith to 99. Nice die cut for the Cowboys. That'll be Austin. There's Devin Singletary. Thanks, Jason. Actually, the the, the it, they're actually thirds. They're four box breaks. So they're in thirds, by the way. Matt Breida, Sony Michelle. To 199. Josh Jacobs. Yeah, I guess Cleveland Farrell was, yeah, definitely a reach at four, but I mean, what are you going to do? The, the, you know, Max Crosby was a sixth round pick, seventh round pick, or something like that, and he could have been higher, so. You know, maybe there's a lot of teams thinking, oh, we should have taken Max Crosby higher. I feel like it kind of balances out. Ed Reed, one of one. Nice. Ravens, Joe Andreessen with Baltimore. I was like, I saw that black border right there. I was like, that's got to be something different. There you go. Nice, Joe. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Tyro Williams needs that foot to heal. He'd be pretty effective. 41 at 75, Mark Ingram. I think probably from speaking for my Raiders, it's nice Tony Pollard to 75, Jersey and Otto. There you go, Cowboys. Austin. I think as far as my Raiders go, I feel like... I feel like... Uh, this is a big year for Derek Carr. I mean, I think this is probably the best set of weapons he's had in a long time. And then there's consistency in coaching, you know what I mean? I think this is like, what, third, going third year into John Grudem's system and all that stuff. So he hasn't had the, the coaching inconsistencies that he's had early in his career. So this might be a big year for him to, to really show what he can do. Uh, draft selections relic. Michael Hardman Jr. goes to the Chiefs. That'll be for Garrett. Yeah, great break for the Ravens, right? That one of one plus the Zebra Lamar. All right, final box.
So right, and so, sorry, Sean. Sean Corbin was saying you have the same problem with the Chargers taking Herbert at six. Nobody was taking a QB from seven to fifteen. I mean, I thought from the get that they were gonna that, that they were going QB though. I know you were you were sold on let's improve the defense or the offensive line and let Terod Taylor roll and then count on the defense to win those games, but it seemed to me that they were that they were gonna go quarterback. Now was Justin Herbert the right quarterback? I don't know. Could they've gotten him lower, maybe? What uh what are the Chargers saying, Sean, about about Herbert? Like, have the GMs done, like, the online press conferences and all that? I'm assuming they're saying the, the usual coach speak, ma general manager speak. I don't know if there's anything more revealing than that. All right, last box, folks. Bryce Love, Juan Thornhill to 149. There's another Lamar Jackson. And an Alexander Madison. I think some of the guys were talking about him a little bit earlier. Jersey and autograph, Vikings, Anthony. I think I missed the conversation. But. So Sean's saying, predictably, Chargers coaching front office all very happy. They think Justin Herbert's the guy. He's going to be there for the future. Hope he's going to be our quarterback for years to come. Another Lamar Jackson silver. Ah, so he, he was apparently plan B to not getting Brady. Sammy Watkins, Darnell Savage, 75. There you go. Is that you, Anthony? Yeah, there you go. Alexander Madison. Not too bad. Kind of a uh, Dalvin Cook light. D.D. Westbrook, autograph for the Jags. That'll be for trendsetter Aaron Salinas. Out of 75. Sean's happy that they moved back in the first round, got linebacker stud in Kenneth Murray. Is it Kenneth Murray? So he's had, so that's he's been able to reconcile the draft. Charles Tillman. LJ Collier. T.Y. Hilton to 99, Tricolor, Aaron Rodgers, he's got a young quarterback behind him now, and C.J. Mosley for the Jets to 25, nice die cut, tie-dye die cut for Jesse and the Jets. The tie-dyes look really sharp in this, this select. Scary Terry McLaurin and Michael Gallup relic at the very end for the boys. That's going to go to Austin. And there you go. All right, so just one XRC card. Wide receiver five. That'll be randomized to one person in the break. All right, so let's uh, flip screens here. Let's go from Paul Hutchins down to Chris. Let's get everyone's names in here. And the name on top after six times, we'll get wide receiver five. And sixth and final time. After six, Wide receiver five, that XRC card, not autograph, just a card, is going to go to, I think there are other ones that do have autographs on it, uh, is going to go to Ryan. There you go. No doubt about it. He had the top two spots. There you go, Ryan. You'll get that extra card right there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.